After the calibration is done, you're going to go to Open and go to New, if it's a new patient. Then you enter the research ID where um, the last name is highlighted. This is a test run, so we're just going to put some information in there. Then you have to put the date of birth of the subject. 611-69. And then enter the race and the sex of the subject, and then press Add Visit. This takes you to a screen where you have to ask some more questions. What is your height? Five, seven. You have to enter the height and the weight of the person being tested. And then you go down to the bottom and press the FVC tab. So also it's weight in pounds. Yep. And then FVC tab. This will calculate predicted values for the test. Here's the predicted values. And the predicted values are on the top. Now you take the mouthpiece filter and plug the blue side into the pneumotac. Just like that. And those clip. Okay. So we need a nose clip and this setup right here. And we're ready to begin the test. So for the test, what we're going to do is we're going to put a nose clip onto your nose, and then you're going to put your teeth and lips on the white tube here. Mm -hmm. Wrap your lips around it tightly so there's no air uh, escaping around the outside. You want everything to go through the tube. Mm -hmm. There's no resistance. You can breathe through it easily. So what we're going to ask you to do is take a couple normal breaths, just the way you normally would, mm -hmm. and then when he gives you the uh, cue, take a full chest of air, as much air as you can take in, and then he'll tell you to blow it out as fast as possible blow it out and keep squeezing air out for about five seconds. On that long exhale, you're not going to have much air left in your lungs, but keep exhaling and squeezing so that no air comes back in until he tells you to take a breath back in. Okay. So a couple normal breaths, full chest of air, blow it out as fast as possible, keep exhaling, and then take a breath back in. Okay. Okay. I will make a noise with you, so like I will, I will breathe, so try to follow me and it will be easier to do it. Okay. Okay. No, uh, you will not use your, your hands. Just relax. Okay. Okay, breathe normally. Breathe normally. Deep breath in. Push, 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 don't stop. Push, 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 I'd like to do a set of three. Um, on the top there, you can see the values and the predicted percentages. It's actually, you, know, you can uh, compare the, um, the amount of liters and the percentage based on the predicted values there for the um, force vital capacity and the force expiratory volume in one second are the two main measures that we look at. So it should be at least one minute uh, between attempts. So Let's say one one minute has passed. Okay. Let's do, let's, it again. let's do it again. So I hit the space button when I when I started, and you will see the loop here starting to take it in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze it out. Push, 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 push. Take it in. So this uh, attempt was very, very close to the uh, its previous one, only 0.3 uh, milliliters. So it's a very good attempt. We need another one close to uh, to the other two, uh, 0.15, and we're done. Already.
Okay, do it again. Let's do one more. Let's do it one more time. Take it in. Push, 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 in. Okay. So now we check the values and we look for the best attempt. Um, check the FVC and the FEV1 and choose the one that has the highest percentage values for both. Looks like it was attempt, attempt number two. Looks like the best. So you, you click, uh, make sure attempt number two is clicked and then unclick the boxes for attempt one and three. Unclick one, unclick three. Then we go to the quick print option and go to FVC. And then we you can you can make a comments here, whatever you would like. It will be in your. We usually put computer. sitting, like for the sitting posture, or something like that, or any other comment you need. And now you save your file. That will be saved as a PDF file. And the PDF shows the flow volume loop of the best attempt and the values calculated from the software. This is the report, so we have every piece of information we loaded here and the results, so force vital capacity 112% uh, from normal, forced expiratory volume in one second, 116, and the graph is here, flow volume loop, it's a red, black dots, it's a, it's a normal value, so it's a above, above the normal in this case. And you can see here, this was more than six seconds, so it's a valid test. You close your database and save and save the changes. Yeah, it will be everything will be saved. You close your software. Now you, you will need to save this file as a special DB tool file. Extension C O W. So you go to DB tool. Go to tools and export patients. Go to the visit and find the person that you just did, this click one. on it, and go down and browse for the file in the directory, choose the file folder where you'd like the file to go. In this case, we just go to the desktop. Then you press okay. export, it'll tell you when it's done, and then press the done button. And that's, that completes the spirometry part of the PFT.